In this video, we're going to do some exam style questions on quadratic equations. This is question number 13. We're told part of a graph of y is equal to 4x squared minus 12x minus 19 is shown below. The curve crosses the x-axis at the point A and B and the y-axis at the point C. So here's A, here's B and here's C. In part A, we're asked to write down the coordinates of the point C. So this is a point C, it crosses the y-axis, so x will be equal to 0. So if we look at C, x will be 0, so this will be 0 plus 0 minus the 19, so we can say that will be negative 19. In part B, we need to find the length of the line segment AB, given our answer in exact form. So what we're looking at here is the distance from A to B. That's on a straight line, it's about half the same y-coordinate, and all we're looking for now is this length. How I'm going to do this is find the coordinates of A and B by setting y equal to 0 and then solving. So what I'm going to say then is 4x squared minus 12x minus 19 will be equal to 0. This is not going to factor, so I can either use the quadratic formula or I can complete the square. This is entirely up to you, but it's a non-calculator question. I'm going to complete the square. So, dividing through by 4, as we need the coefficient of x squared to be 1, we have x squared minus 3x minus 19 over 4 is equal to 0. So, we'll have x minus 3 over 2, all squared. Subtracting away 3 over 2 squared, which is going to be 9 over 4. Subtracting the 19 over 4, that will give us 0. So from here, we can say x minus 3 over 2, all squared, is going to be equal to 9 plus 19, which is going to give me 28 over 4. Taking the square root of both sides, x minus 3 over 2 will be equal to plus or minus the square root of 28. Now, 28 is 4 times by 7. So, instead of writing the root of 28, I could write this as 2 root 7, and then that is going to be over the square root of 4, which is 2. So, we can see from here that x is going to be equal to 3 over 2, plus or minus the square root of 7. So, if we go here, we can put these values on. So, all I've done is solve the quadratic. This point a is going to be 3 over 2, minus the root 7, comma, 0, and the point B will be the 3 over 2 plus root 7, comma, 0. So all we're doing is simply subtracting these away. And if you want to show workings, what you can say then is AB is B minus A. So if we say AB is equal to B minus A, therefore what we're going to have then is 3 over 2 plus root 7 minus now the quantity 3 over 2 minus the root 7. As we can see, the 3 over 2s will cancel. We'll have root 7 subtract negative root 7, which will give me 2 root 7 units. So that's in exact form as it's left as a third. And we simply subtracted 1 from the other. So for example, if a had been uh, now negative 2, 0, and B had have been, let's say, 9, 0. To find the distance, 9 subtract negative 2 is 11, or they've got a, dis a difference of 11 units in their distance. So that's one way of doing it. You could have used the quadratic equation, but as stated, this would be a non-calculator question. Question number 14. In completed square form, the equation y is equal to x squared plus px plus q can be written as y is equal to x minus 2 squared minus 5. In part a, we need to find the values of p and q. We can do it from this form. I think, though, easier is just to expand it out and collect up. So expanding the square bracket, x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus the 5, that's going to give us y is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 1. So we can say that p is going to be equal to negative 4 and q is going to be equal to negative 1. So that part is done. In part b, we need to sketch the graph of y is equal to x minus 2 squared minus 5 shown at any points of intersection with the coordinate axes. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and consider what we're going to have. So I'm just going to draw uh, the coordinate axis and we will look at our values. This is a positive quadratic and as we've seen in the past, it's relatively easy to sketch this. So we can say now on here and we can write when x is equal to 0, when x is equal to 0, we will have y will be equal to negative 1. That's just subbing x is equal to 0 into this part. We can say when y is equal to 0, 0 will be equal to x minus 2 all squared minus 5. What I'm doing here is simply finding where it crosses the x-axis. This is already in completed square form, so x minus 2 all squared is equal to 5. Square root in both sides and add in the 2, x is going to be equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 5. Okay, so that's what we have. Now also, in completed square form, we can get the minimum point. Just looking ahead, part C asks us to label the minimum point M on the graph and write down the coordinates. We could do that from here. So with this one, consider the graph transformation, 2 to the right and 5 down. So the minimum point, and I'll put it just here, is going to be at 2, comma, negative 5. What we're going to have is a parabola that opens upwards like so, and it will do something, give or take, like this, come round and back through here. So that's a rough shape of the parabola. This is going to be the point now 2 minus root 5, comma 0. This will be the point 2 plus root 5, comma 0. This point here we know is x is 0, and then we've got y is equal to negative 1. So that gives us now the rough shape. We've got the correct way of opening up. So it's a minimum. It's a positive quadratic. It will open upwards. And we've got the points of intersection by solving the equation by setting x to 0 and then y to 0. Okay, so in part C, we need to label the minimum point m on the graph and write down its coordinates. So that is m just here. And we've got 2, comma, negative 5. In part D, it says the graph crosses the x-axis at the points A and B. Find the area of a triangle A, M, B, giving your answer in exact form. So what we're looking at here is simply this length right here. So that length right here. And then we're coming through, and I'll put these on. It's going to look something like so. So we want that length, and then we're going to just simply create this triangle here. Right, so let's uh, let's put some values on here. Now, we know that this height right here is going to be 5 units. This is going to be 5. That's the y coordinate just here. That length is 5. If we consider now this length, similar to the last question, if I do now the 2 plus root 5, subtract 2 minus the root 5, this is simply going to give me 2 root 5 units. If that's a that's B, and that's M. So if we just go back to the last question, we saw when we did this that that distance right there is going to be 2 root 7. Here, we're just going to have 2 root 5. So we've got now a perpendicular height. This is the perpendicular height because it's the Y coordinate. So it's perpendicular. The line just here is going to be perpendicular to the X axis. So the air of a triangle is 1 half A uh, 1 half AB, or you can write it base times height divided by 2. So the area is going to be now the base, which is 2 root 5, multiplied by the height, which is going to be 5, divided by 2. So we can see now in exact form, this is going to be, with the 2s cancelling off, 5 root 5, and that will be units squared. And that is the area. So we sketched it, we solved it, and then we've had uh, a more challenging question in the last bit to solve and then find the area of the triangle. So there we go, a couple of exam style questions on quadratic equations.